Manil Kumar and in this video we will discuss about an application of exponential function. The question is, a radioactive substance has half-life of 250 years. Determine the age of the substance if it has retained 75% of its original amount. So what is given to us is, let us say original amount A is the original amount, let that be 100, right? In that case, what it retains is a after time t is 74 percent 74 out of 100 that is given to us now radioactive substance has half life of 250 so h the half life is 250 years that is given to us determine the age of the substance if it has retained so much of the original amount so h means for how long it was there so that is the time t is required so so that is what is the question all about. Now whenever half-life is given to us, we can write the equation in the form of A with respect to time is equals to initial amount times half-life is half, right? T to the power of half-life. That is the equation which we should use. Now in this, we know all the parameters except for time which we can find. So A of T, which I have written like this here, is 74 out of 100 to start with, half to the power of T over half-life of 250 years. Now these e exponential equations can be solved by taking log on both the sides. So first let me divide by 100. So if I divide by 100, I get 74 over 100, which is half to the power of T over 250 that is indeed 0 0.74 equals to let me write this as 0 0.5 to the power of t over 250 now when you take log both sides then the equation could be written as 0 0.74 equals to that t over 250 comes here like this 250 that is the power rule of logarithms right log of 0 0.5 now from here we can say what t is so t is first divide this by, so we have log of 0 0.74 divided by log of 0 0.5 and then multiply by 250. So 250 times all this. So that is the answer. So now we can use the calculator and calculate the answer. Let's find the ratio first. Log of 0.74 equals to divided by log of 0.5 equals to times 250 equals to 108.6 let me write it here so t we get 108.6 years so determine the age of the substance so we can say age of the sus substance is so now we can write an answer age is approximately 108.6 years so that is how you could solve the question, right? I hope you understand and appreciate the steps. Thank you and all the best.